Welcome to Strong and Balanced. My name is Pat Agostino. I'm a physical therapist here with PeopleFit. If you've never taken this type of class before, we always ask you to consult your physician or physical therapist first. Let's begin with a brief warm up. Feet are going to be about hips width apart. Knees are soft. Shoulders are back. Let's pull that head right up off your shoulders. And we're going to do some nice neck rotations in one direction. Almost all these exercises besides at the end can be done in front of a sturdy surface, like a countertop, so you can grab onto it if you need it. And let's reverse that circle, please. If you're doing, um, for this class, we will use a small weight today as well as a mini resistance band. If you don't have a small weight, you can use anything, a can of soup, a water bottle. You don't necessarily need anything. Great. And some arm circles in one direction. And let's reverse that. Fantastic. Let's stick your bottom out, bend your knees a little arch in your back, and we're just going to rotate side to side. Fantastic. Up tall, and we're going to march in place. Nice high knees. <clears throat> Great. Feet about hips width apart. We're going to come up on your toes and back on your heels. Try to grasp the ground with those toes as you come on up and down. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's just warm up those hips and we're gonna to try to focus on moving those hips. So we're gonna take one long step forward with one foot, bend both of your knees. And that's all I want you to do from here is bring your arms out and you're just gonna stick out one hip and then the other, like you're flying an airplane. So I'm really trying to stick, my, you know, we do the uh, big oak tree. This is the opposite. We're using some hip movement here just to get your balance used to shifting over your base of support. And now five fast airplane maneuvers. I hope you don't go on a plane that's like this. Two and one. Good. Let's switch sides. Again, same thing. It's all about how far I can stick one hip out and then stick the other. Good. And just kind of see how far you're comfortable. Typically, you're going to move the hip that's connected to your back foot a little further out. And five good movements. Excellent. Okay. Now let's get into one of your balance positions. Remember they are from easiest to hardest, feet together, heel to the inside of your big toe, one foot in front of the other, or one foot up off the ground. And while you're in that position, let's just do some head movements. So you're gonna just scan the room left to right, or right to left. And allow those hips to move. I don't want this to be all ankle movement. Remember, you can move your hips to try to catch yourself. Great. And let's switch feet. And we do the same thing. If you had your feet together, just leave them where they are, please. Let's go side to side. And 
and three, two, and one. Fantastic. If you have a weight uh, that you're going to use for the next uh, few exercises, please grab it. Great. So we're going to have the weight in one hand, and we're going to do some bicep curls with that weight. So let's get back into one of your balance positions. Elbow is going to be inside your body, and you're going to come on up and down. Just a little bicep curl. If you feel like this weight kind of anchors you to the ground and you feel more comfortable, maybe get into one of the more challenging positions or even try bringing that foot up off the floor, whatever you're comfortable. For three, two, one. Excellent. Let's switch feet and switch hands. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's hold the weight in front of you. You're going to bring your toes slightly in, and we're going to continue with your heel and toe raises. Good. I moved child number three back into college this weekend. I feel like I have half of my house back. It is amazing how much she can accumulate. I think she had more than the other two combined. In five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna do a bent over row. So you're going to ha have the weight in one hand. You're going to step forward with the opposite leg. Hand on your knee or lean forward, and let's come up and down. Pulling up towards your hip. She texted me once, and she uh, moved back. It was for a request for a picture of the dog. Yes. I know my place in three, two, one. And I did take a, a very cute picture of the dog. So, so everything is right in her world. Let's lean forward and pull on up again. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's come right back on up. Let's get into your balanced position. Let's soften those knees. And now we're gonna do one of two things. You're either going to do a hammer curl, which means that you're bringing the bicep curl up this way and then pressing up towards the ceiling, or if your shoulders bother you, just do the hammer curl piece, okay? So curl and press, or just a curl. Good. Touch, the, and if you're doing the curl and press, if possible, touch the shoulder, make it very mechanical. Come straight down, sternum is up the whole time. Good. If by some chance you keep your monitor on the floor for class and you have the opportunity to put it up, that'll help you with your posture. See if you can raise it up to at least eye level. Good. One more. Excellent. And let's switch sides, please. And let's switch feet. So either a curl or a curl and press. And remember, you can always do one thing on one side and something else on the other. Four, three, two, and one. 
Excellent. You're going to grab the weight from the front. You're going to soften those knees. We're going to do a little core workout. Really bend those knees. Belly button in. You're going to lean back on your heels just a smidge. Bring the shoulders back. And you're going to press and return. Press and return. I guess I haven't told a joke in a while, Caroline. You're, you're uh, Carolyn. You're quite, uh, you're quite correct. I haven't heard any good ones lately. Although a priest, a rabbi, and a chicken walk into a bar, and the bartender says, what is this, some kind of joke? That's all I got. I don't know if I've told that one before, but it's bad. In three, two, and one. One last one with this. Let's put the weight behind the back if your shoulders don't bother you. If your shoulders bother you, I want you to bring the weight down, and you're just going to beat the air back. But otherwise, we're just going to bring your head and chest up. You're going to push back, a little pause, and back in. A little pause, and back in. Great for posture and strengthening those upper back muscles. For five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Let's place the weight in front of you. And we're going to go stand about six inches behind the weight. And let's work on now your big oak tree, right? Let's shift side to side. Perfect, side to side. And let's reach out to the side, hand on your hip, and you're gonna tap one side of the weight and return. Tap and return. Tap one side, the other side, and back down. Good. Good. If this is easy, tap, tap, and then bring your toe around and touch your calf. Tap one side, tap the other, and it's a gentle tap, and then calf. For most of you, just tapping and returning is enough. That's fine. But I will give you the option to do one more. Tap, tap, and return. All right, let's shift over to the other side, please. So let's tap the weight and return to the ground. Tap, four. Double tap, and you can even add in a calf tap. Good. Slow and controlled, concentrating on that balance. You guys look awfully balanced. I have to mail a high wire to your house. You can string it between two trees and we're going to take balance class outdoors. Good. In three, two, and one. All right, let's get rid of that weight. All right. So we're going to stretch out your calves. So let's turn one foot back in slightly and a long step forward with the opposite foot. Shoulders are back and belly buttons in. And we're going to bend your front knee until you either feel a little stretch in the front of your hip or the back of your calf. And we're going to hold it there. Speaking of balance class, next Monday, shockingly, is Labor Day. Um, we will have class if anyone is around. Um, the week after, we will not. I'm going to take that Monday off, but I will be here for Labor Day, so hopefully we'll see some of you then. You should come to class. You should be laboring. Laboring in balance class. Working hard. Excellent. Let's switch sides, please. Shoulders back, belly button in. Bend that front knee. Good. 
in 10 more seconds, please. Excellent. Okay, let's come on back up. We're going to try something a little bit different today. Um, we're going to reach out to the side and lean out to the side. And you're either going to do um, three steps. You're going to tap your left toe forward, right beside you, and back. And we're just going to continue in that pattern, making like a letter L. Okay, or you can do it without bringing your foot down. So I'm going to slide back, mechanical out, back in, and forward. Out, good. And if you want, when you're reaching forward, you can bend, you can do a little half squat on this knee here, okay? If your knees don't bother you. So reach, good, out, and stretch, good. Grasping the ground. Or tap, tap, and tap. This will give this leg a nice workout by reaching a little bit. Good. Perfect. Okay, let's switch to the other side. And again, with the right side now, you can tap, tap beside you, tap out. And then and then uh, reverse the pattern. Or reach out. And I'm doing a little knee bend. As I reach in both of the positions, good. Reach, good. If you're doing this for the first time, it's a little bit more of a challenge because it's working this leg a little harder than you used to. Like I said, don't work through knee pain. In three, good. Two, last one. Excellent, nice job. Let's shake those legs up, please. Okay, I think we're gonna get right down onto the floor or into bed for the next set of exercises. If you have a mini resistance band, something like this you wanna use, please do. And if you'd like to grab a glass of water, please uh, grab a glass of water and um, we'll eat down on the floor in about 30 seconds. Okay, so we're going to start face down for all of you that do not have lower back issues or osteoporosis. Um, and face up, if you have osteoporosis or lower back issues, you're going to do a pelvic tilt with your knees up. You're going to push your lower back flat into the floor or your bed. Relax, pull in for five seconds and then relax. Everyone else is going to come down for a uh, plank please so elbows underneath shoulders palms either flat or hands clasped belly button in and knees up right up onto your knees or onto your toes if you'd like to try to dip your hip down from one side to the other that is great everyone else that's doing the pelvic tilts you're going to hold them for one, two, three, four, five, and then relax. Remember, your legs, should, if you're doing the pelvic tilts, your legs should be nice and relaxed. And for everyone, do not work through any back pain. Come down when you need to. And one more for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Let's come right onto your back knees and feet are up feet together knees together and we're going to gently go side to side just to work really to warm up that lower back get a little bit of a stretch if you feel a little stretch on your lower back 
especially if it is on the opposite side of where your knees are going, that is an appropriate stretch. In three, two, one. Let's go one knee to chest with your opposite leg straight. You can grab behind your knee. If you want a little bit more of a stretch and your knees don't bother you, you grab on top of the knee. If you've had a hip replacement, you can skip this or go nice and gentle. Great. And let's go opposite knee up towards your chest. In 10 more seconds here, please. Excellent. Let's go knees uh, bent, feet flat. And we're either going to continue with your pelvic tilts if you have osteoporosis, or we're going to work on either a two leg bridge or a one leg bridge with your legs sticking up towards the ceiling where I lift up on one side and then come on back down. Okay, either way, we can do a one leg, a two legged bridge, but let's hold for one, two, three, four, five, and down. One, two, three, four. Five and down. You can do your pelvic tilt. One, two, three, four, five and down. And one more. One, two, three, four, five and down. How high up your leg is going to be will be dependent on a few things, including your flexibility of your hamstring. So if your leg is out this way, it's actually a little harder, uh, but it's still a great exercise. Let's switch to the other side if you're doing a one-legged bridge. If you're doing a two-legged bridge or your pelvic tilts, just continue in the manner you were just at. Let's lift on up. Two, three, four, five, and down. We have four more. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Three more. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Two more. One. Two, three, four, five, and down. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Excellent work. We're going to go right to your resistance band. So if you have a mini resistance band that you'd like to use, you can put it on just above your knees. You do not need one. Let's come right into a side line position, please. Into your clamshell position. Hips and knees are slightly flexed. And hold onto your hip and open and close the clamshell, keeping your feet together. Good. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Excellent. Let's straighten out your legs in line with your body. You're going to roll your front hip slightly forward, extend your top leg back, and you're going to raise and lower that leg. Good. Push that hip slightly away from your ear, if that makes sense, and see if you can make sure you're not doing any of this with your back, but it's all coming from your hip back here. For five, four, three, two, and one. Now I'm going to ask you to roll your hips slightly forward and tap your toe on the floor in front of you. And while your kneecap is facing down, you're going to bring your heel up towards the ceiling. Good. For eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. 
Okay, let's roll on to the other side, please. And we'll do the same exact three exercises, starting with your clamshells, hand on your hips, bend your knees up, and open and close the clamshell without allowing your hip to roll back. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's straighten your line, legs out in line with your body. Roll your forward hip slightly forward. Extend your top leg back. And we're going to come up and down. Excellent. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Roll your hips slightly forward. Tap your toe on the floor in front of you. Your kneecap is facing down as you extend your heel up towards the ceiling. Yes, and you, for most of you, you'll really feel it in that hip. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice work. All right, let's come right onto your back. Let's try to stretch out those muscles we were just working. So again, if you don't have a hip replacement, I'm going to have you extend your right leg out. You're going to bend your left knee up. You're going to grab the outside of that knee with your right hand and gently pull that left knee across your body. You've got to try to keep your your fanny pretty much on the ground and your back flat so the stretch comes from your hip and not necessarily from your lower back if that makes any sense great and the opposite side left hand Grab the outside of the right knee and gently pull it across your body. Great. Soles of your feet together. Let the knees fall down to the side to get a little bit more of a stretch. You're going to push down with your hands to open up those thighs a little bit. Do you feel a nice stretch in the inside of your adductors? And you're going to hold that stretch there. And if you have any other stretches that you typically do, this is a great time to do them. And I hope to see you all next week. If I do not see you, uh, happy Labor Day. Take care. Bye.